हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब फर्स्ट थिंग आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो यू डोंट मिस एनी अपकमिंग इनोवेशन अपडेट्स इन सेलेक्टर सब टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो एंड इन ऑटोमेशन इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज दिस इज जस्ट द बिगनिंग अ लॉट मोर टूल्स एंड इनोवेशन आर देयर इन पाइपलाइन सो यू विल बी सरप्राइज also uh, if you has haven't taken the selectors of certification program yet so go here on selectors of website and take this certification program is this is absolutely free and there are chances that you win a selectors of t-shirt as well as it has a really good quiz which will help you a lot to learn a lot more new things great so this new tool test case studio what is this test case studio test case studio is a platform to record the user action performed on a web application in english sentences so basically what it will do like whatever user action while doing the functional testing you will be performing in your website it will keep recording like click here then right click here so all those things it will record and generate a manual english test case so basically now we need not to write the manual english test cases english test cases basically manually this is going to save a huge amount of time and what is the need of this test case studio where all it is going to help us so it is the very first thing it is going to help us writing the manual test cases automatically without putting a single effort single click effort very helpful to reproduce the box like because what happens many a times we while testing something we used to get a bug and then it becomes really hard to recall all those steps because of which we got the bug so even in some cases like critical bugs corner cases we are not able to reproduce as well so in those scenarios it is going to help because this will give you the written steps that what all steps you have performed because of which you got the bug so you can easily refer them and reproduce it it will save a huge amount of time for developers because every time when a developer give a build to a tester they always have to explain that this is the functionality this is the flow that you have to test like do this 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 so uh, many a times it happens that tester miss or developer miss while telling each other while oral early dis discussing things they miss the steps so this miscommunication is going to be like reduced completely and there will no blame game that you didn't tell me you didn't tell me this was your mistake my mistake so it is going to help a lot in that cases as well very very useful for documentation and future proof purpose like in production tomorrow you get a bug today you don't have uh, any kind of documentation many a times and whenever any issue comes in production manager asks have you tested this functionality and we used to be like blind we don't know whether we have tested or not because we cannot show them the proof that yes we have tested it and we have to like many a times we have to accept that yes it is our mistake or we have to just like forcefully we used to say that uh, no 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 this is not a like we have tested it and all but that doesn't work right so the it will help a lot in documentation it will save a huge amount of time for automation testers because it will automatically generate the x path and css selector for every element which we interact also we can generate directly generate the locators command from this which will help a lot and save a huge amount of time for automation testers so let's see how this all magical things going to happen and how it is going to help us in our testing and development so this is very simple earlier i have launched it as a, a beta version with selectors of uh, with selectors of only now relaunching this one as a separate plugin with a new design with a new logo here this is the test case studio logo i'm sure you will love it and this is available for all the browsers like selector sub so for whichever browser you want to use it you can use it from here you can install it from here all the details i would really recommend you just uh, go through this one and you will uh, get all the points all the questions if you have any question you will get the answer here still you if you didn't get that you can uh, leave in the comment section i will reply for sure so let's say we want to uh, do uh, use it in chrome so click on chrome you can install on any browser 
add to Chrome. And before that, like you can check the like uh, this is absolutely safe and secure. It runs offline. It doesn't save or collect any of your user data. So you can check this privacy tab. So this is absolutely safe and secure. You need not to worry that this is a recording test case. So it might be recording your actions, your user data. No, it's not going to record anything. It runs offline. So it is the most safe plugin. So add extension. And then after adding it, this will come here. You close this one. And then uh, I would recommend you that you restart the browser. Or just open the website in the new tab whichever you want to test the website let's say Google and here you will see that you will not find the test case studio logo here so click on this on Chrome it doesn't come now so you will have to pin to toolbar whichever logo you uh, whichever extension you want in the toolbar now we are all set suppose we have to test a functionality on this uh, this is our application google.com and here one here we want to test our application for such functionality so what we do like we type here we press enter or click on google search and then uh, do some steps there so that's what we want to test so what you have to do before starting your testing you just have to click one click is required you have to click on this test case studio record button test quiz studio button here just click on this logo that's all so this is how this test case studio window will open here you will see that a couple of things are there like the name of the tool here you can set the name of your test case this is the like this blinking it is showing that your uh, steps are going to be recorded this attribute filter all those things are here so let's see what how this will work what you have to do now that's all we clicked on this Test case studio is open. Now you just start your basic testing, uh, normal whatever you keep doing. So let's say we search here for selector sub, type selector sub, press enter. Then we click on this link. Suppose we want to right click on this test case studio. We click on this. Then we click on certificate. Then we click on donate so we did a couple of steps and suppose now we want to save our test case so what we do let's see everything is ready here if you see that the very first thing we did open google.com see that this will give you the data here then we click on uh, that second link then we ent uh, enter search then we hit enter enter search in the enter search box we enter selector sub then we press enter then we click on this uh, selector sub innovation link on the search page then we click on test case studio uh, button here on selector sub website then we click click on certificate then we click on donate button so you see all the steps are recorded now here for every step you will see that x path is also there css selector is also recorded so that's a bonus point everything is ready here suppose by mistake you have recorded any wrong step which you doesn't want it to record like this steps this is this got recorded why because like somewhere we might have clicked on the google page like this we here we clicked and that got recorded which we didn't want it like this one so what you can do you can easily have this delete button here you can simply delete this whichever is wrong steps because we many times we like we right clicked here which was not required so this got recorded so this you can just simply click delete and then you have like any steps you want to add in between let's say you want to add assertion verify statement you want to add assertion after this you can click and add something like verify some whatever you want to add, do that you can add it here suppose you want to add some wait time at any point of time wait for five seconds so that you can do it here you you added this step basically now you want to export this test case in xls for future reference or you want to save this you just click on download it will save by default it will save with the uh, website domain name and the timestamp you can also give the test case name here let's say first demo i did and then save this so this is where you can add it your test case name here you doesn't want to save the test case or anything what you can do you just click to copy all steps and you can share with anyone like 
just in chat you can share with your tester or developer like these are the steps you want to follow or something that you can do the data is here the x path is here the css selectors are there for every step so suppose you are writing uh, automation script you need not to now open the browser for every uh, button to see the x path of them or css selector you can directly refer from here directly from this seat you can use this one and write the automation script you can also generate the command like this one this command could be edited like if you are writing in cypress you want the cy.get and wherever you are writing css selector replace that with xpath value keyword that it will be generating here you can turn it off anytime attribute filter option is there like suppose you doesn't want with text you don't want with title so those things are here like you can just click on this you can uncheck this text box uncheck this id whichever you prefer so all those things uh, amazing things are there if you want to stop the recording you can stop anytime you can resume anytime again and that's all uh, those all things you can do it here you can delete all those recorded steps if you want to record a fresh new test case or from the beginning you can delete them you can uh, also uh, here you will find all the details of this like change log you can refer the test case studio change log here this is the home page of test case studio tutorial you can anytime refer join the telegram group link for more updates and anything you want to discuss with the community if you have any issue it's, if it is not working for your application or anything you can connect with me on slack i would really request you please uh, give a rating to test case studio and let everyone know about the uh, this tool and how it is helping you in your day to day and how much time you're saving if you feel any issue or anything in this tool or any improvement is required please raise an issue or improvement request on bagasura if it is helping you in your business please donate to test case studio and select us up be a patron and support because these are absolutely free product and i'm working full time on them so please support and uh, donate here you will find the version number so all those things are there this is the very first uh, releases of test case studio there are a huge pipeline and lot more innovations are there which are going to make your life easy and more innovative so that you can save a lot of time and use that time to learn new things and be more productive so so this is uh, about all about test case studio a lot more things are there in the pipeline this is just the beginning keep sharing keep learning keep saving time and help others let everyone know about test case studio do subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss upcoming feature innovations and new tools this is just the beginning selectors of test case studio there are some more exciting things coming like it and share it and let me know your thoughts in the comment section what you feel about test case studio selectors of or anything thank you thank you so much